Morning guys, welcome to Coffee and a Bagel with Hutch in the Morning, where we're going to be playing some brand new Sims 4 Seasons expansion today. I'm very excited. Today's release day for the new Seasons content for The Sims 4. It's Friday morning. I've got my uh, coffee and a bagel. I've got a uh, cinnamon raisin bagel toasted with butter from Tim Hortons. And of course the coffee from Tim Hortons. I have to give credit to Glitch. Mrs. Hutch brought that in today. So very awesome. I'm very appreciative of that this morning and uh, appreciative that uh, you're here hanging out today just to uh, see what this new uh, expansion is like. I'm suspecting much of it is going to be like um, uh, previous season's content that we've seen in The Sims 3 and Sims 2. Um, but, you know, just more centered around uh, Sims 4 gameplay. So we're going to check out the clothes. We're going to check out the furniture. We're going to check out what the seasons do. Um, yeah, we'll try and get as much of a comprehensive look today as we can as we, uh, as we look at this new content. So without much more delay, let's, let's bring it up here. Some Sims 4. Make sure my OBS is picking that up now. Uh, okay. Hey, Shotgun, how are you doing? How are you doing this morning? Okay, let's start up a new game. New game specifically for Seasons. And you know what? To start <laughs> modeling the clothing, we are going to make... I got a new subscriber this week. His name is Snowcone. And I think we're going to make a Snowcone Sim just for him. Actually, I should... Let me quit this. I got to go back to my subworld. Let's go back to our subworld here. Don't save. Uh, and we got to make uh, our Snowcone Sim in our subworld. We better not make him in a separate game. Or that uh, that won't go well. All right, let's play in here. Let's go to our sub world. Select a season to play in. All right. Well, why don't we uh, start off with fall? Then we can kind of see the season changes. Summer is kind of the default uh, season in Vanilla Sims 4. So why don't we why don't we check out the fall? Let's start off in the fall here. All right. All right, map doesn't look very different than it normally does. Let's uh, create a new household to move in. We'll create a new snow cone sim. <laughs> that kind of looks like him a little bit there. <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, change his physique first. Wait. The um, body, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Uh, okay. Alright, let's give Snowcone. Uh, I'm trying to make my hat poof, sorry. Oh, no problem. Uh, no problem. You work You work on your hat poof. Make the poof the priority. Um, okay, let's give him that body. And then let's uh, get rid of that hat so I can. So I can see his hair. Okay, that's not his hair. <laughs> that's not Snowcone's hair. Uh, okay, let's go with hair. He has darker brownish hair. So, maybe... Kind of like that. We'll give him some darkish brownish hair. And it's longer. So we could give him that. Or... Is there no new hair for the seasons? No new uh, longer hair for the seasons expansion. Snowcone has majestic long locks to his shoulders, at least. Yeah, he does. There we go. This this looks like his hair. This looks like Snowcone's hair right there. That's a good approximation. Unless there's something longer. That's from the outdoor retreat uh, expansion pack. Let's see if he's got... I don't think they have anything longer. At least not in loose hanging hair. There's this. 
<laughs> I think Snow Cone would love to have hair like this. I sure would. I'd be thinking that's amazing. But uh, his hair is not like that, so. so let's go back to to this here. And as far as like facial hair. Um, he kind of goes off and on from clean shaven to a beard. He, his beard never gets very long. It's mostly, at least in the pictures I've seen, he's mostly kind of stubbly. Um, so we give him something like that. We could just give him some kind of stubbly, stubbly facial hair. I think that might be best. It's just some stubbly facial hair. Um, yeah, he has mostly stash. It's true. Beard, that's too much. Eh, could go for more stylized. I think the stubble, though. I think the stubble's more. Here you go. Yes. <laughs> Give him the Magnum PI. Can you imagine? Snowcone comes on the channel and sees the mustache like that. Amazing. I'm gonna give him the stubble. Let's give him the stubble. Or, ho 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 ho, pencil thin mustache. No, I'm gonna give him the stubble. You think he'll like the Magnum PI? <laughs> Didn't we do that to War Bunny? Legit, he sent me a pic. He has the PI mustache right now. No. Does he? Well, if you said it, it's in the chat. It's there. Magnum P.I. Mustache, there you go. Congratulations, Snowcone. And of course, uh, his name is going to be Simcone. Simcone. Um, Snowcone P. Snowcone P.I., yes. <laughs> Simcone P.I. is now his name. Wonderful. Simcone P.I. Who are you, Simcone P.I.? And actually, there's a new uh, gardening career that comes with the Sims 4 Seasons Expansion Pack. And I think we should make Simcone a gardener so we can highlight the new gardening content for the game. So let's give him a nature aspiration because he's going to be spending a lot of time outside gardening. Freelance botanist. That could be his aspiration. I think that might be the best. Or outdoor enthusiast. Um, let's go with gardening. The Sim wants to grow plants and become an expert gardener. Freelance botanist is going to be his aspiration. He's a collector. He wants to find rare collectibles. Simcone PI, you like that? Um, let's give... So the snow cone's a pretty cheerful guy. We'll, we'll, we'll give him... Oh, Shushka! <laughs> Shushka. We'll give him that one. Um, let's give him... Um, I've talked movies with him a lot, so I'm tempted to give him the geek trait, but let's also give him Loves Outdoors so that he... Ribba Kelka. You know, he's going to be spending a lot, of time, a lot of time outdoors. That would be a good, a good moodlet to give him. Um... <laughs> Let's give him uh, a music lover. Let's make him a music lover. Like, he likes music, he likes the outdoors, and he's cheerful. We could make him geek, but I feel like a lot of the Sims we put in our subworld gameplay are geeks. So we gotta give some give some variety here, I think, for Simcoe and PI. So, um, that being said, let's use Simcone PI to model some of the new, let's see some of the new clothing we've got, uh, in The Sims 4. Uh, let's see if there's any new stylized looks. Ooh, rainy outlook. Nice. So this is like a, a rainy weather raincoat. It's a yellow in there. It's gotta be a yellow raincoat. Mooshka. I like it. I like that raincoat look. With the sweater, too, that's kinda cool. Um, oh, the base drop. That's from the Get Together pack. I never oh, saw this. <laughs> Look at those pants. Ah. Oh my goodness, those pants. 
Those pants are amazing. I never looked at the clothes for the Get Together expansion pack. Raincoat for daily wear. That's right. Uh, wow, there was a ton of them for uh, the Get Together expansion pack. I never looked at any of those. Clankety clank. What? <laughs> I love that they muffle his voice in the suit of armor. It's amazing. Um, patio men. Okay. Yeah, I never looked at any of this stuff when I got the uh, Get Together expansion pack, but back to season stuff, because that's what we're trying to look at today. Uh, I like that raincoat, though. The armor, please. <laughs> Can you imagine? Simcoe and runs around in Subworld wearing the armor. Uh, okay, let's look at tops. Um, so let's... Can I add a filter for uh, content? Packs. Um, seasons. Here we go. So let's see all the seasons content they've got there. That's good. Okay, so for tops, we've got no bottoms. <laughs> okay, he may be pantsless on occasion. We're just looking at all the tops and all the different uh, individual items. I like that sweat, that scarf though. The scarf with the jacket is very cool. Oh, look, at that. look at that tank top. So low cut. That's amazing. Incredible. Oh, I like that. I like the open shirt. I imagine we get all sorts of different colors there. Let's check out some of the different colors. We get the red. Gray, very cool. I like it. Snowcone did not send a pantless pic, so I can't help there. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> uh, okay, so I got another tank top. Different uh, color combinations. Very cool. Okay, kind of a winter snowboarding outdoors jacket with a mama. Nice plush jacket for the winter. Very cool. And again, different color combinations on there. Or you can get an all orange. Hmm. That's nice. You got the option to have multiple color combinations, but also here we'll move in a little bit so it's, it's Antlers legs are not so distracting. Uh, I like the different options there. You can even get a camo option on the jacket. That's very cool. We like that. A little spring or fall wear kind of jacket. The colors are so nice on this stuff. That is nice. I like that. The. Uh, Kind of cotton lined jacket. Oh, the colors are so great. Huh? Oh, we gave a change the color of the shirt. So you can go with a blue shirt or darker shirt. Nice. Very cool. Little sleeveless hoodie. These coats look awesome, don't they? They look great, don't they? I really love these coats. Coats look wonderful. I figured one of the big things with the uh, Seasons expansion pack is a lot of, uh, it could be a lot of great clothing. Okay. Let's check out a uh, full body kit. Oh my goodness, look at this. We could make Snow Cone a, you know, man in armor, or we could make him a garden gnome. <laughs> Please. <laughs> right? Isn't that hilarious? That, you think that's good? Check out this outfit. I am still here <gasps> a bunny. Guys, I need that on Shotgun Sim. Guys, we can actually make War Bunny a bunny. We can actually make one of our subs War Bunny. We can make his sim a bunny. Amazing. The bunny for bunny, right? Exactly. Oh, <laughs> look at the boots. That's amazing. It's like a restaurant Mater D outfit with rain boots. Oh, I like that. That's snazzy. I like that, the turtleneck. 
with the long jacket. Get that in some darker colors. Snow cone, looking stylish. I love the rain, the rain boots on everything. It's amazing. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Look at that slick outfit. It only comes in one color. That is one single outfit of pink. Amazing. It's the jacket again. Ah, like a gardener's outfit. Like if you're working in a greenhouse. Amazing. Again, only one color. You like the long jacket? Look, I do too. I like it as well. Oh, look at this. There are so many outfits we could make snow cone wear. Look at this magnificent ice skating outfit. Look at that. It's even kind of see-through so we can see his tats. <laughs> nice. like that winter outfit. Uh, and so I'm guessing there's um, gloves and everything you can wear with your winter outfits. Hutch Sim needs the ice skating one. Yeah. Hutch. <laughs> yes. So there's a Father Christmas uh, outfit. Makes sense. I'm surprised that wouldn't have come out with the uh, Happy Holidays celebration pack, the free one that you can download. I'm surprised the Father Christmas outfit wouldn't be there, but oh, that works. Very cool. I like the full body outfits. Let's check out uh, some of the bottoms. Let's see what we got here. Nice. I like those pants. Okay. Kind of a uh, mottled color pants there. That you can get in different uh, color combinations. I like it. Oh, flannel shorts, flannel lined shorts. Amazing. Hey, Kit Kat Clan, how are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it is a cool outfit, isn't it? We're checking out the new clothing with the new uh, Sims 4 Seasons expansion pack. Okay, like those belted uh, pants. I uh, always like seeing more uh, variety in shorts. Uh, because Vanilla Sims doesn't come with a lot of uh, variety in shorts, so it's always nice to see new shorts added to the game. And we got some camo rain slash winter pants as well. Very cool. Uh, I did Kit Kat. It's out today. I made sure to pre-order it so I'd have it for the stream today so we can check it out. So we're going to check out what all of the... Uh, Clothing content is, we're going to check out furniture content, and we're going to check out some of the seasonal gameplay so we can see just what, just what this game does, what this expansion pack does. Okay, so really we only got, like, gloves. For accessories we got, okay, so you get the different colored gloves, yep. Sims 3 had this exact thing. Sims 3 had the gloves you could customize. So there's basically, like, short gloves or longer armed gloves. And, um... Sorry, just getting looking at... <laughs> looking at my phone as it's here. Um, different color combinations I can uh, put in for the gloves. That's very cool. So the gloves and the wristbands are basically... No, get rid of the... Get rid of those gloves. How do I get rid of those gloves? Gloves and wristband. Oh, and it's just the one wristband, too. Okay, that's interesting. Like a stone in the middle of it? Oh, it's just like a binding, binding kind of uh, wristband. My poof came out too small. Oh. <laughs> that's so sad, Shotgun. Just for qualification and context, Shotgun is talking about a poof she made for her toque. Her hat that she's knitting. A poof is a toque poof, a hat poof. Just to, just to qualify that. Shoes. Let's check out what we got for shoes here. Um, okay, so we got basically the kinds of boots. Or winter boots. Here, let's get rid of my... <laughs> Snowcone's modeling boots in his underwear. Amazing. Stop clarifying my innocent use of poof. <laughs> it's just a poof. 
Okay, so wow. you get different color combinations in the boots. That's very cool. Awesome. And then kind of new hiking boots. Hiking shoes. That I can also get different uh, colors in as well. Very cool. I like it. A lot of great stuff uh, for the guys. In terms of... Uh, in terms of clothing. Huh. Okay, let's... Um, let's dress... Uh, snow cone. Let's get rid of that. And um, let's get him all dressed up and set up, and then we're gonna throw him into the uh, subworld gameplay. Does snow cone have tats? I don't think he does. I don't. At least I don't. I haven't seen any ink on him. Um, the ink just kind of got there from one of the stylized looks uh, that I pulled up. Um, what do you think? Should we should we leave the tattoos on him or ah. or no tattoos? Um. Get rid of that filter there, and let's give him some everyday clothing. Um, look at that, uh, the apron. Amazing, look at that. <laughs> Amazing outfit. Um, I feel like the, the long jacket look would be good for an everyday look. Like, I like that on Snow Cone, but... Is that going to go okay during the summer? Do we just change him in the summer? Do we put that on him now for the fall and then change it come summertime? I feel like he needs a darker color. I do like that. I do like the longer jacket look. So we can just give him that look for now and then when it comes uh, to warmer weather we can always change the sim. Uh, what's he got for formal wear? <laughs> nice. Long jacket? Sounds good. Look at that. Stylish jacket. Those shoes look silly. The shoes look silly? Yeah, I guess they do kind of, don't they? We might have to change his pants then. If we change the shoes, we're going to change the pants because the pants are rolled up a little bit. Let's... Maybe the pants need to change, not so much the shoes. that oh, uh, what like if I give him different pants like this they cover up the shoes more and the shoes don't look as silly just put boots on it'll cover the roll up I think the roll actually has to go down I think the roll stays no matter what um, I think it's better to get pants and get rid of the roll <laughs> than uh, than the other way around but now where's the le jacket Turtleneck with the jacket. Mm. Where is it? Mm. Let's see if I can find it here now. Maybe the other jackets. OMG? <laughs> What's OMG? <laughs> what? Huh. Um, okay, that didn't. Jackets, blouses, t-shirts? I don't think that would have been under jackets. Not button up. Suit jackets? I wouldn't think so. Huh. Ah! It's kind of odd that that changed. Why did that disappear when I changed the pants? Full body. All I did was change the pants and the jacket disappeared on us. Right? I don't understand why that has to change. Bottoms. Pants. Huh. The game does not want to combine these pants with that jacket. So it's a full body outfit. You have to have it together. Yeah, so I'm just trying to look for the one jacket setting, but I can't seem to seem to find it. I think it was a Seasons thing, so maybe if I just go to the Seasons pack, that'll that'll do it for me. That'll bring it up. But it's not there. Sims 4. Why you gotta play me like this? Why you gotta play me like this? Give him, try and give him that jacket with the scarf. 
which is why I said change the moods. <laughs> Alright, I'm game. I'm game. We'll try that out. Let's go to the outfit. Give him the darker colors. And let's go to the shoes. So you mean boots like this? You kill me. <laughs> See, because these are the boots that show the roll. Maybe you throw these boots on there, it covers up the roll. Oh. What do you think about that? Does that look silly? Do those boots look silly with the roll? Or do we go with the, uh, the higher boots? I don't like the roll, which is why I think it should be covered. Well, if we want to cover the roll, then it would be those boots there. I think the roll is what looks dumb. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, if you want to cover up the roll, I think those are the boots you need. Or cowboy boots. But anything else is, um... Or maybe winter boots. There are other boots, but those are fine. <clears throat> I kind of like these ones. I think that's as dark. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I kind of like the dark brown on those boots. I don't think the cowboy boots would go. <laughs> Snow clown shoes. Alright, if you think these boots, or the larger knee-high boots, they look good with the outfit? Okay. Good. Alright, we got his everyday outfit. Let's check out his formal. See what kind of full body outfit we can put him in. Oh, look at that. That is sharp. Look at that. Should we leave him in the uh, teal? Or do we go with red? Or black and white? Um, huh. we put him in white with the light blue. Purple for the shirt. Or red in the jacket. Do a darker colors. We could go plum. Or why you like the black or the green? Yeah, I like the black. Ah. That looks smart. It's coming together very much like Simcone PI. Let's uh, let's leave him with the darker uh, outfit there, and then we'll go over to his sports outfit. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I like that shirt. Um. I like the pants and the shoes. Now the shirt could probably be changed. Let's go to tops and then t-shirts. Uh, let's give Simcone. Are there different designs or is it just different colors? Oh, there's different designs. We could put different designs on his t-shirt. <laughs> UFO with a cat. Uh, some lettering, go with the glasses, more of a burgundy or blue, um, some form of fancy lettering, dark, this is where we found the, uh, Space Invaders shirt for Retro Eric's, uh, Sim. Um, or we could put him in one of these more muscled, muscled shirts, with the kind of low cut in gray. We could give him that for his workout outfit or his athletic outfit. I think I like that. I think I like the uh, low cut gray athletic shirt. Uh, no. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing sleep outfit, Simcone. <laughs> Look at those shorts with those, that shirt. Amazing. And the bunny slippers just makes it. Just makes it. Or we give him a, a bathrobe. I think Snowcone is probably a t-shirt guy. Sounds good. You think he's more a t-shirt guy? Okay, let's go back to the athletic then. And we'll give him the... Uh, we'll give him a t-shirt. And let's give him um, 
Let's get the one with the fancy lettering. I kind of like that. I kind of like that style on there. Give him a little bit of style. But then back to the sleep outfit. <laughs> we won't give him the bunny slippers. We've given so many Sims the bunny slippers on their sleep outfits, the poor guys. But, um... But let's definitely not give him the bathrobe. Let's, uh... Let's give him... Can we change his underwear? Oh, that's hilarious. We can give him a kiss on the butt. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, let's give him some heart boxers. Let's definitely give him some uh, heart-shaped boxers. And... Do we leave him shirtless? Shirt shirtless? Or do we put some, like, slippers on him? Slippers and... So it'll be like he... Bright red slippers. Like, he doesn't like wearing a lot of clothes to bed, but he doesn't like his feet touching the floor. I like that with the heart-shaped shorts, too, with the Magnum P.I. mustache. That would be smooth. Smooth outfit for Simcone. <laughs> nice party outfit. <laughs> I don't think Snowcone would be very impressed by our... our party outfit for him. Uh, party up! Ah! Oh, look at that. Amazing party outfit. Uh, we'll give him Knight's Idol. Maybe... You know what? Let's give him the vested interest outfit. Sans glasses. Welcome back, Shotgun. We're doing uh, Simcone's party outfit now. Pink suit? <laughs> Pink like this one? <laughs> You think he should be in the tux with the, uh... That's more plum, isn't it? Isn't that more a plum color than a... Than a pink color? But is this the one you were talking about? Or were you talking about, um... There's Twinkly Rich Dude, After Hours VIP Apparel, The Beachcomber, Pressed to Party, I'd Throw My Panties <laughs> In the plum outfit? I'll put him in the plump out plump, plump outfit. I'll put him in the plump outfit for his party gear. Fine by me. Snowcone's not here to object, so we're making his sim together, everybody. Shotgun, this is what we did for his sleep outfit too. Some red slippers and some heart-shaped boxers. It says like he he doesn't like wearing a lot of clothes when he sleeps, but he can't let his feet touch the floor. He's kind of sensitive about that. So I figured we'd give him uh, we'd give him that uh, sleep outfit. Uh, okay, then what about swimwear? Ooh, look at that. Those are nice. I like those shorts. And I like the necklace. I like that. I like that outfit for snow cone. What's this? Oh, now we have hot weather. Okay, so now... Now we have outfits for hot weather. And outfits for cold weather. Interesting. Okay, so we don't have to worry about uh, changing his outfit when it comes to uh, summertime, because the game automatically selects a uh, hot or cold wear that you pre-selected. So we've got Heatwave Pro, I like that. I really like that, actually. Neat, that's awesome, right? Uh, Carefree Chillaxin, that looks cool too. I like that. Cool Muscles Bro. <laughs> Uh, Retro Runner we've seen, and the Slam Dunk. Okay, so they've shifted around a bit of uh, some of the pre-made outfits for the hot weather and cold weather outfits. Which do you like better? Do you like the Heat Wave Pro? Or do you like the Carefree Chillaxing? I'm trying to make a second yarn poof, and Otto keeps in the ball. Otto, you're interfering with the creative process. Uh, so which do we prefer? Do we prefer the Heatwave Pro or the Carefree Chillaxin? Regina Noctum, how are you doing? Welcome back. Regina Noctum prefers the Carefree Chillaxin. Do we want to stick with the green colors? Do we want plum? Gray and red? Um, interesting color combination. So there's like the darker green, 
or there's an orange color, or plum. Go with Regina Nocton, says Shotgun. Yeah, which uh, which color do we prefer? On the, mm, excuse me, carefree chillaxing. I could go with either. I could go with the the orange, I could go with the green. Uh -huh. Orange that orange looks nice and sunny. Hmm. Okay, let's go with the orange then. Let's go with the orange and yellow for uh, snow cones hot weather wear. And then cold weather. I kinda like the cotton line jacket. That's pretty nice. Uh, but they also have never overplayed. That's snazzy. Uh -huh. With the scarf. I like that. Uh, Blizzard Basics. Check it out. <laughs> uh, see, yeah. Amazing. Blizzard Basics. Uh, oh, they put the 24-hour fitwear in uh, cold weather. I don't think we want the the Blizzard Basics. <laughs> I like the never overlayered. What do you think? Or do we go back to the cotton line jacket that uh, that he was wearing when we kind of when we kind of started him out? Uh -huh. There's different colors Let's here. See. You can go for. Uh, I don't know if I like that color. Oh, oh. Gray's okay. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Huh? Okay, the more plum. The what? cotton line jacket looked very nice. I thought so too, Regina. I thought that looked nice too. Let's. Uh, I think I can undo changes to go back to it. Yeah, huh. there we go. But do we like that color of pants with it? Hmm. Are the pants and the shoes okay with the jacket? I like that jacket too. But the question is, are the shoes and the pants okay with that combination? <laughs> the earrings are a nice touch with his uh, Magnum PI mustache too. That's nice. <laughs> Snow Cone's gonna come onto our channel. He's gonna see that we made his sim and... What did you guys do? What have you dressed me up as? I mean, I think the pants uh -huh. and shoes could work, but... I confess, I, I could see IRL Snow Cone wearing earrings. I think he does, actually. I think he's got hoops. I think Snow Cone has uh, hoops. IRL. Maybe the shoe's another color? Alright. Uh, okay, so his shoes are okay. So we could go darker. We could go gray. Uh, go darker brown. Don't think I'd go white. No, I wouldn't go the beige. I think I would go darker, like darker black, or darker brown. What do you think? I think I would go darker brown or darker black. The brown? Ah. Yeah, let's go with the brown. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think that matches his shirt. So the color of the pants are okay. That's all good for his cold wear. Then that would mean we've got Simcone all set up. We got his everyday outfit picked out. We've got his formal wear. Here, I'll give you more of a frontal view of him. Got his athletic outfit picked out. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Shoes look a lot better on that. We got his sleep outfit. We got his party outfit. <laughs> Love it. Swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. Awesome. All right, then I think that uh, I think that finishes it up. I think Simcone PI is he's ready to go. He's ready to be entered into Subworld. Let's put him. Let's move him into a house in Subworld, and then. Um, we're going to model some of the uh, women's wear. We're going to show off what the women's wear is for the Sims 4 Seasons pack. So let me just um, put Simcone into our sub world. So guys, uh, if you don't know, um, people who subscribe to my channel, uh, we move them into this sub world gameplay that we do. Uh, let's, let's move him into Windenburg. That's where we put GB Simulation. 
we may have to move him in with someone. We may have to move him in with GD. Because I don't know if there's other houses available for him to move into. Unless he moves in with another household. Which I guess he can do. Uh, he can move in with the bears. He can move in with the party house. <laughs> party house would be amazing. That would be funny. Um, Pure palace. That's... Or we could just move him into a new lot and build him a new house. Might have to do that. Let's move him into Summer Home and then we'll eventually uh, build him a new house. Party house? <laughs> subs have to room with other subs. Yeah, that's generally what I've done, but I don't... Oh wait, there are two bedrooms in GB's house. Okay, yeah, we'll move him in with GB. We'll move him in with GB. Yeah, move him in. So... Snow Cone and GB are now roommates in our subworld gameplay. So if you subscribe to my channel, uh, we make sims, roomies, exactly. We make sims uh, of our subs, put in our subworld gameplay, and look at the weather going already. There's already rain. That is amazing. Okay, and we have a new calendar. <gasps> Guys, look. We have a calendar to show when the holidays come up and when the weather changes. Amazing. So we have Harvest Fest as a holiday, Winter Fest, New Year's Eve, we've got Love Day, we've got Birthdays. No, um, no Halloween, eh? Or maybe do you have to buy the uh, spooky stuff pack? Everything looks so neat. Yeah. Add holiday. We can add a holiday. Oh. So we can make our own, we can make a Halloween holiday. You can add your own holidays? That's amazing. Oh, and they give you weather predictions for each day. Huh. That's amazing. Okay. I know I'm getting ahead of myself here because I said I'd look at gameplay after we kind of modeled everything. Maybe Halloween is the Harvest Fest. Yeah, I think that's a possibility. Um... Or maybe you have to buy the spooky stuff pack to have uh, Halloween content added. So it'll tell you what weather it is today. Today's forecast, chance of rain. It'll tell you the temperature. It'll tell you what season it is. You've got your phone, your home, your normal functions there. That is very cool. Traits are the same. Okay. All right, well, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to uh, looking at gameplay. What's this here? Camera options. But let's, uh, so let's save this. Save that game, and then let's go to, um, go to Manage Worlds. So, um, Shotgun, since you're uh, one of my subs here who has uh, a sim in subworld gameplay, may we use your sim to uh, model what uh, Seasons has for gameplay. If you're not okay with that, I can always um, create a random sim and um, do some modeling with that. Uh, i got my library here. These are some of the sims I've created for our subs. We've got uh, Shotgun Simark and Lemley Lemming Sim. We've got Gary Raxer Sim. We've got Steve L.A. Sim. Yeah, you'd be okay with that? All right, let's... Um, Bring you up here. Um, place household. Wait, let me. Um, I think I need to go to. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No, let's go back to. Um, let's go back to here, and then create a household. That'd be a better place to do it. So now I can pull it from the gallery. I can pull a shotgun from the gallery here. There we go. Merge. Okay, so here we have... What happened to casual me? <laughs> well, we changed your hair in the Bachelor Challenge, right? We changed uh, the Sims hair in the Bachelor Challenge. We could still change that back. Um, if I can remember which haircut we gave you. Because we started you off with shorter hair, but then Shotgun Simark got uh, longer hair through the course of the Bachelor Challenge. Guys, if you don't know, I just finished up doing a uh, Bachelor Challenge with The Sims 4. 
and Shotgun Simark was one of the contestants. Eliminated eventually. It wasn't uh, this hair, was it? No, it wasn't that hair. What was it? I feel like it was swept the other way. Like that almost? Oh, here we are. This was it, right? Wasn't this the hair we uh, changed it? No, but you like it? <laughs> Isn't this the hair we changed your Sims hair to? Um, so this was... Okay. <laughs> I was like, whatever. Uh, that hair is very beautiful, right? That hair is nice. That's nice hair. All right. Let's see what we got as far as... <laughs> Uh, let's see what we got as far as uh, outfits for Women for Seasons gameplay. Let's uh, select the Seasons content. Hmm. Uh, let's go to the outfits. Styled looks for every day. Oh, cute. Look at that. <laughs> for rainy days. That's nice. Can you get that in? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, you get it in yellow. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. That's a great outfit. I like it. Prim without the proper. Oh, see, again, we haven't looked at... Um, yeah, right? So cute. We haven't looked ah. at the uh, outfits for uh, Get Together. When I got the Get Together expansion pack, we never really went through the outfits for that. Prim without the proper. That looks cute. <laughs> you know it. Um, casual stroll. Oh, look at that. With the hat and everything. I'm ooing and aahing over outfits here, guys. <laughs> That's so cute. Clankety clank. <laughs> we could put shotgun Simark in the armor. <laughs> Backyard allure. Nice. It's a nice dress. That was with the uh, perfect patio case. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yes, uh -huh. armor, not blue. <laughs> Full set of armor never fails, right? Uh -huh. Careful camper <laughs> from the outdoor retreat pack. Oh, and these are all the Star Wars outfits that came with the uh, uh, vanilla Sims 4. So those are cute. The Seasons outfits. Oh, so really the one Seasons outfit is the rainy days. <laughs> but in the yellow, that's still that's still pretty cute. Okay, let's look at... So there's the styled looks, but then there's, um... Huh. I think there's more. So I think there's more for the full body outfits. Yeah, there's more. Different jackets. Different jackets you can wear. There's new kind of, uh, with different tops with the dresses. Gnome. Isn't that great, Regina? Oh, Regina might not have been here when uh, the, <laughs> the Garden Gnome was revealed as one of the suits you can wear. Isn't that amazing? You too can be a Garden Gnome running around The Sims 4. Nice. I like that dress. That's a nice dress. We give her the hats and that hat. Killing me, Smalls. There are those hats from those outfits there. Full body outfits. Got kind of a blue dress. Uh -huh. Very nice. Um, okay, so this is like a summer swimsuit kind of dress. Very nice. That comes in all different colors. Um, the Regina, you wouldn't have seen. I love the bucket hats. They're adorable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Regina, you also wouldn't have seen the uh, bunny outfit. <laughs> There's a full-on uh, bunny costume that they can wear in The Sims 4 Seasons now. Which is amazing. We can actually put... Uh, one of our subscribers is War Bunny. We can actually put him in a bunny outfit now. Cute dress. That's cute as well. Some nice summer dresses. We can make you look like Father Christmas. <laughs> You make Shotgun Simark look like Father Christmas. Or we got... Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Amazing. With the rain hood. 
incredible. There's an outfit to go with a uh, Lemley Lemming Sims hot dog costume there. Perfect. Oh, and there's blue with the rain hood as well. I do need that much clothing to stay warm in winter, to be honest. <laughs> the rain outfit too, isn't that great? She's going fishing in the high seas. Yes, exactly. Uh, let's see if there's different tops that uh, are specific to um, seasons. Okay, there are. See, I, I don't think we went through enough of the guy stuff to see there was all sorts of different tops. Well, that's nice. That sweater top is nice. I like that. Ah. Interesting. Jacket. Oh, I like that jacket. That's nice. Hmm. Uh, similar darker jacket there. Oh, that's nice. I like the... Wow. I like that jacket with the, uh, the hands there as well. Those are nice. Oh, very pretty top. Very pretty summer top as well. The black jacket is adorable, right? I should wear the black one. I would wear the black one, yeah. Right, Shotgun? I like the content so far. This is... They're delivering on a lot of the content. Uh, let's check out the bottoms. Okay, so similar pants to what we had for the guys. But then... Oh, neat! Got some button skirts. Very cool. And those are all in different colors, too. Very nice. Got a shorter. There's a shorter button skirt. Oh, look at that. How cute is that? With the, um, the belt. That's very adorable. Uh, <laughs> the short shorts with the frilly edges. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, the outfits are great. I'm very impressed uh, by the outfits so far. What kind of accessories. The guys didn't get too many accessories with, uh, with the season's content. Got some bangles. Different bangles to wear. Very summery, right? Okay, so different styles. Oh, wait, how are those not... Oh, it's both hands. Okay. So you can either have bangles on both hands or just on one hand. Uh, you got the armband like the guys had. You got the gloves like the guys had. You got leggings. The ladies get leggings. Huh, look at that. And they're in different colors, too. Oh my goodness, look at all the different colors. Look at all the different colors of leggings that you can get. That is very cool. Lots of great new customization with the uh, Seasons expansion. Check out the shoes. Got some boots. That's to be expected, much like the guys. We got the bigger winter boots, like the guys had. Except candy cane leggings. <laughs> you get boots with flowers on them. How come the guys don't get boots with flowers on them? These are cute. Look at those boots. Those are nice boots. And you can get those in different colors, too. Nice. Huh. <laughs> those are definitely cute boots. The boots are amazing, all of them, right? So good. Okay. So that's all of the everyday uh, content. Let's look at the formal content here. Nothing for formal seasons for women for, oh wait, for shoes. What about uh, styled, styled looks? Okay, holiday party best. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's kind of cute. Got uh, two different textures in the outfit. The little bow. This is from Get ah. Together. <laughs> Lamorous Edge. Boy, guys, I was really la I was really slacking on the, uh, the Get Together expansion pack. I should have done more showing of the content for that uh, that pack. Sleek and chic, that is cute. That is very pretty. 
Umber, op <laughs> umber Opulence. Make sure I pronounced that uh, properly. That is very fancy. That's from the Luxury uh, Pack. Origami oh, Grandiose. Oh, Check it out. That. It's almost like retro 80s. In the outfit. I could do not talk to me about your stack slacking on the clothing, sir. I could spend hours here, and I believe people do. There's a video on YouTube, I think it's called The 30 Different Types of uh, Sims Players, and I think one of them they list is the person who just does nothing but Ooh. goes through clothing. <laughs> oh, Starry day. Night, that's a pretty dress. I like the makeup of that too. Love Line Paneled Dress, oops. The back. <laughs> well, that was with Vanilla Sims. I don't remember seeing this outfit with Vanilla Sims. Fairy tale fitted gown, I remember. Oh, sure. I remember that being one of the uh, formal outfits. Uh, um, so for tops, there's nothing for seasons. Um, okay, we got a couple of different uh, full body dresses. Got a nice uh, heart dress. That's very pretty. And I think we saw that outfit for every day. That outfit was also available for the everyday uh, choices. Bottoms, nothing. Accessories, nothing. And shoes, nothing. Okay, let's check out the athletic wear. Let's see what we got there. Uh. Nope, I think it's just the vanilla, the vanilla packs for uh, athletic outfits. Oh, we got that one top, but we saw that for the everyday. Full body, oh, that was a figure skating outfit for the ladies. <laughs> the guys don't just get a figure skating outfit. The ladies get a figure skating outfit too. Very awesome. Uh, nothing for bottoms, nothing for accessories, nothing for shoes. All right, let's go to sleepwear. See if we get any styled looks for seasons. Nope, just the um, the vanilla stuff that came with the came with the base game. Uh, that was an everyday top, I think. And uh, the figure skating outfit is adorable, right? Isn't that great? I think that was an everyday top too. Oh. Full body outfits, nothing. Bottoms, nothing. Accessories, nothing. And shoes, nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's look at uh, party wear. Well, that was one of the formal outfits, was the holiday party vest. Uh, these are all with the vanilla game. Any tops? Okay, yeah, again, we saw that top with the everyday. Any full body outfits? Okay, that's different. Very chic, kind of jacket top for a party outfit. Those dresses we saw. How about for bottoms? Yep, we saw these bottoms in the everyday wear. Any accessories? We saw those. Shoes? We saw those boots already too. Swimwear. Now there should be some stuff here for the seasons pack. Ah. <laughs> oh, check it out. Uh. Very retro. What would be let be like retro 50s? Retro 50s, retro 40s. The turtleneck is nice. Right, Regina? The polka dots, you like that? The polka dots on the uh, on the top. Modest somewhere. <laughs> oh, that was one of the uh, dresses we saw earlier, but it gives you a nice wide brimmed uh, hat Ooh. to go with it. Ready Ooh. to mingle. Oh my goodness, <laughs> oh, look at that outfit. Zimzy. <laughs> That's from the uh, Perfect Patio uh, pack. Uh, and then these are Vanilla Sims. Okay, I like the stylized looks. Very cute. <laughs> you blick. Top, <laughs> you blick. <laughs> and nothing modest about that outfit. <laughs> There's a tongue-in-cheek reference, maybe. Well, this is, we saw this in the everyday outfits, that kind of uh, swimsuit uh, top. Bottoms, nothing. Accessories, the same. Shoes, nothing. Okay. 
It's very cool. Very cute. For hot weather, we've got oh, locked in florals. Sure Look at way. that. That's a cute hat with the top. And then those shoes. Scalloped sweetheart. Huh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty too. I like the earrings with that. Vintage fab. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at that. What do you think of that outfit there? Vintage fab. Uh, casual what? scroll we saw already in the everyday <laughs> stylized look. Sleek and chic we saw. Bionic Bodwear, that's all with the uh, vanilla... Vanilla Sims. Fab indeed. I need these outfits IRL, right? Quilted huh. warmth. Oh. Huh. <laughs> so you have the quilted jacket, but then a skirt and leggings. Oh, look at the uh, the lipstick with that, too. That's interesting. Going with the more uh, flesh-toned uh, makeup for the outfit. And we've got blazing oh. through the snow. <laughs> looking, looking fashionable. Cozy? Does that look cozy? Looking fashionable, but possibly not very warm. <laughs> Sacrificing warmth for fashion. Nicely knitted. Oh, look at the hat. Look at the hat. Shotgun, could you knit a hat like that? Could you make a, a cap like this? Would that be possible? Warming up for winter. Uh -huh. Oh, look, there's a poof. There's a poof on the toque. I could and I have. Nice. And this is what you're knitting right now, right? A hat with the, the poof on top. But that one looks crocheted. Oh, okay. To show my, my ignorance about knitting. That I don't know the difference between uh, crocheting and knitting. Panda, how you doing, brother? Yep, that's the hat I'm making. Panda, thank you so much for the host, brother. Welcome, welcome. Happy Friday to you. I hope you've had a good morning so far. Blizzard, babe. <laughs> Check Ooh. it out. Oh. Look at that hat with the outfit. That is amazing. I'm doing good, Panda. It's Friday. I had a, a good week. Excuse me. I had a good week at work. I feel like I'm prepped for the weekend, so I can relax today. And uh, we're looking at the new seasons expansion pack for Sims 4. Checking out the new content uh, that comes with the expansion pack. Ah. So we're gonna see how uh, seasons look. Isn't that great, mm -hmm. Regina? The Blizzard Babe outfit. The backwards hat is amazing. Love it. Okay, so I think we saw these tops. Um, Again, in the uh, the everyday wear. I weighed myself this morning after not weighing myself for almost two weeks. And how did it go, Panda? Uh -huh. Were you happy with the results? Were the results where you wanted to be? That's the blizzard outfit. Bottoms, the, the dudes have those bottoms. Accessories, yep. So you get, again, you get the gloves, bangles, and leggings. And the shoes. Okay. So there is some new stuff for the women in the expansion pack, but it's kind of used over multiple multiple sets of clothing. But I like it. I like a lot of the content uh, that's here for both the men and the women for clothing. It's pretty good. I'm impressed with what the content has so far. So maybe what we'll do now is I'm going to go to one of the houses in my subworld and ah. or maybe i'll uh go to another world and we're just going to check out some of the pre-made rooms and some of the furniture content for the game so we can get a sense of what are all the different uh household items that have come with this expansion pack sorry i had to take my headset off for a moment hey panda pheasant i was at 231 pounds last time i weighed myself i'm at 223 today i was hoping to be under 220. 231 to 223 is still good good on you panda great work Yes, definitely still great progress. Great work, Panda. Ah. Congratulations. Okay, let's uh, 
Let's get out of here. Exit create a sim. And then let's go to... This is still the uh, subworld gameplay, right? Let's go to a different world. Uh, let's exit to the main menu. And I'll bring up a different world just so I don't mess up our subworld gameplay. Wouldn't want to mess that up. Let's load up... Um, look at GB and Snowcone there. That's amazing. Let's... Uh, we'll, we'll just create a new game because we're just going to be messing around to to try stuff out and see what's in there. I'm a bit disappointed in myself. I'm trying to lose Ooh, as much as possible before my surgery next Georgia. month. I get that. I hear you there, Panda. Um, let's just take a randomly generated sim because we're not really interested in the dudes or the ladies. Mitchell Radford, you are our test sim. Oh, I gotta pick stuff on. Okay, blah, 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 blah. We'll just pick some random stuff for him, because we're not really going to play him. We're just using him to kind of <clears throat> show off what kind of furniture and stuff that they have in the game. Uh, let's move him to Summer, so we can get a good look at, uh, kind of in a kind of a generic setting, all the different stuff. Let's go to uh, Willow Creek. Move him into one of the homes. We'll move into this empty lot here, Bargain Bend. Let's move them in there, and then we'll check out uh, what new furniture content they have here in the Seasons expansion pack. So excited for this coming out today. Well, Panda, I hope you feel good about... <laughs> this summer wear. That's awesome. I hope you feel good about what you've accomplished, at least, in your workout. I mean, that's... You've, you've, you work out most of the time when I'm streaming. So often when I'm streaming, Panda will be working out, or he'll be coming home from his workout. That's nothing to... That's nothing to be upset about. That's good dedication, brother. I'm impressed. All right, so let's check out. Let's go to build mode here, and let's uh, let's see what we got for seasons expansion stuff. Um, filter items. Let's filter them by packs. Seasons. Okay, what do we got here? We've got stony clean. Yeah, let's buy that room and put it down there. Okay. So, I don't know, that's good. Ah, da, 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 da. Why is my camera not, uh, not rotating? Oh, there we go. I'm still going off the controls for another game. Okay, so that's kind of neat. Kind of a new, new bathroom outfit, new tubs, new toilet. I like that shower. I like what the brick in the background... And then the uh, glass panels here, that's cool. I like that look. I've lost 51 pounds in the 76 days I've been exercising. Well, see, there you go. Better than most, exactly. That's amazing. I like these shelves. That's all very cool. I definitely like that tub. I like the, the base underneath the tub there. That is very cool. Floral canopy. Check that out. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Okay, so they got some uh, canopy single beds now. You have a single bed that's canopied now. Some nice new uh, decorations, new wall decorations. Very cool. Okay, I like that bedroom uh, set up. Holiday hearth. Nice. Let's, uh, some cheats here to get us some more money. So we can buy these rooms. Okay, let's look at, uh, Holiday, hol Holiday, Holiday Art. I don't know why I went Australian all of a sudden. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Nice with the uh, holiday cards, wreaths over the doorway. Nice. Stacks of presents. Got a little Christmas tree here. I don't know why I can't put that down now. <laughs> Very cool. Now, I, I have not downloaded the Happy Holidays uh, stuff pack, so I don't know if there's stuff here that's just for the Happy Holidays stuff pack, uh, or if there's stuff that um, the Seasons pack has added. Uh, yeah, the bathroom is nice. 
The sofa's cute. There's a show on TV about tiny... Hey, Renaissance! How are you doing? Good morning, brother. There's a show on TV about tiny houses where people want to buy houses that are literally just a box of a bed, toilet, and stove. That's what this reminds me of. Yes, the way you have each room separate. Yeah, I'm just going through the pre-made rooms just to kind of get a sense of what... Get a preview of what content comes with the Sims 4 expansion pack. And we'll we'll check out some of the other stuff too. But this is just a quick and easy way to see uh, what are the, what's the stuff they want to highlight. What's the stuff that really comes with the expansion pack. But how are you doing today, Renaissance? How is your... How's your day going so far? So if these rooms all look a jumble right now, it's just because we're we're just kind of scoping the stuff out. We're just kind of checking it all out. Uh, okay, let's uh, check out asymmetrical symmetry. Interesting. So this is like a dining room kind of area. I like that wall. I'm not big on zebra rugs. I'm not a big big zebra rug guy. I put one of my sims in a tiny house and made them a loner so I didn't have to deal with their social need. Way easier to manage that way. You like the asymmetrical one? Shotgun? Yeah, it's nice. Um, yeah, I've heard of people making uh, tiny homes for their sims in game and then seeing how they can play the game uh, with a tiny home in place. I think there is different, I've seen different videos on YouTube too of house builds for uh, tiny houses. Tiny houses for Sims. Tiny homes. A study in cool. This one is called. Okay. Are these... These look like wall decorations. They don't look like actual lights. Okay. I like that chair. I like that chair in front of the desk. That is cool. I've seen uh, some previews of these curtains. The new curtain designs that they have. Is this a, a shelf? Lumbering wall light. Oh, it's a wall light. Very cool. A piece of lumber with a, a light underneath it. That is awesome. I like that. Okay. This one's called the Lazy Lounger's Deck. Okay. I, I think I see a little pool here. Oh, check out the umbrella. That's awesome. Okay. Um, I want to I wanna place that. That's good. Okay, there we go. Nice. I like the fence around the deck. Oh, <laughs> the neon lights. That's amazing. I'm upset that I missed Wednesday. I got the email when you were on, but couldn't get away from what I was caught up in until you were done. Oh, sorry about that, Renaissance. That's too bad. You'll have to join us for another uh, Play Together Wednesday. Uh, folks, if you're new to my channel, every Wednesday I play a, a game with my viewers. I play some sort of game where a bunch of my viewers can all jump in and we can play together. We do that on Wednesdays to try and get through the week because Wednesdays can be tough. People kind of feel like, is the weekend going to get here or not? And So it's kind of fun to play some games halfway through the week and uh, just relax. I like these patio lanterns. These are nice. Look at the pool. Look at this. Little tiny wading pool. I wonder if adults can use them or just kids. I'd be so happy if adults can use the waiting pool as well. That would make me very happy. That would make me very happy. Okay, I like that. I like that deck. That is very cool. What is this? Gardening Haven? Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. Do I have room to put this down? I don't have room to put this down. Let me uh, erase some of these rooms so I can, uh, where's my go back button? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where's my, uh, oh, right up here. Oh. Get rid of these rooms so I can uh, lay down some new rooms. Adults better be able to use the kiddie pool. If not, hopefully adults with a childish trait can. Yeah, that's true. It could be adults with a childish trait that uh, use the kiddie pool. Oh, nice. Check that out, guys. Wooden fence. Oh, I love it. I love this gate. That's very cool with the stone and the wood. Is that a scarecrow? That is awesome. Patchy the straw man. 
Oh my goodness, please tell me he actually does something. Please tell me you can interact with Patchy the Straw Man. Okay, so you got some garden plots. You got... Oh, I like that. What's that? Walling in the garden. That's pretty. I like that. I'm guessing this is a uh, flower arranging table. Flower arranging skill. There's a flower arranging skill now? Yes. Looks like a horse paddock. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it, Renaissance? There's a flower arranging skill now? That's amazing. Got some sunflowers in the corner here. What's that? That is Birdie's Bee Box? Birdie's. Guys, there's a lip balm. I think it's called uh, Birdie's Lip Balm or something like that. It's made from beeswax. Oh my goodness, you can make honey in Birdie's Bee Box. Right now it's empty, but the bees are active and they are calm. They're not grumpy. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. That makes me so happy. Oh my goodness, you can harvest bees. Uh, so my new subscriber, uh, Simcone, we just made Bert's Bees Bomb. Uh... So, uh, we just have a new, uh, subscriber named Snowcone, uh, who we just made in game. We're gonna do some gameplay with him, so we can see, uh, the Sims 4 Seasons gameplay. And, uh, we're gonna make him a gardener, so... Having him handle bees, I think that's gonna be perfect. Okay, sorry, what was this called again? This was called Seasonal Entryway. Okay. Right? This is adorable content. I like what I see so far. Okay, it's a cute entryway. A little autumn-themed uh, carpet at the bottom there. Okay, okay. Very cute. And got a couple more rooms here to look at. We got the flower bed shed. Okay. What does the flower bed shed do? Let me, uh... And I connect it to that, that room there, so the one door goes into the other. I connected them. Nice. Flower bed shed. Okay, so it's like a little uh, planted planter. And there's another flower arranging table there, so you can practice your uh, flower arranging skills inside. Autumn is the best season. Nice. Autumn is your favorite season? I enjoy... One of the reasons I enjoy autumn here in Canada is because, I think it's the same in the States, Starbucks uh, brings back their uh, pumpkin spice latte and they bring out their holiday drinks. Flower bed shed, that's cute. For every season. Okay, this looks like a greenhouse. A greenhouse sort of room. Yeah, it is a greenhouse with the uh, glass walls. What uh, does the roof look like? Let's see the... Um, Oh, I can't see the roof. Why can I not see the roof? That's kind of very odd. Uh, sorry, I just had to uh, check something there. Okay. Okay, so it's like a greenhouse. I don't know why I can't see the roof. Maybe there is no roof to the greenhouse? I thought it would have a roof. Put up the walls there. I love the planters. I love all these planters uh, that they have with the uh, expansion pack. Very cool. Okay, so I have some planters here that you can plant some flowers, another flowering table. I like it. I like it. I like the gardening stuff. I like the rooms. All very cool. All right, let's check out um, the individual items here. So we got comfort. Okay, so we got the canopy beds. We got some new uh, double beds. Um, for surfaces, there's nothing new for seasons. Oh, wait, there we go. I gotta click all. Let me go back to comfort and click all. Oh, nice. Look at these loungers. That is awesome. I like that. I like that lounger. That's very cute. Uh, we got some of the chairs and sofas that we saw earlier. Those are all very cool. What do we have for surfaces? Okay, that's cute. I like that table. 
I like this table with the, uh, what'd you call that? Like, uh, oh, what's the name of the plant? Why am I drawing a blank? You can upgrade your log cabin with this stuff now. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I could upgrade my log cabin that I built with uh, a lot of this stuff. Budding blossom end table, timber block. Amazing. Look at that. <laughs> a timber block as an end table. Timber coffee table. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like that. Hello. Pardon? Okay. It's in the bedroom. <laughs> Gotta pick my pocket. It's gotta be in the bedroom. <laughs> uh, thanks for being here, folks. <laughs> Illustrious secretaire desk. Yeah, I could upgrade my log cabin with a lot of this stuff. More wood-based uh, furniture. Daring hall tree. That's that coat hanger that we saw in one of the uh, entryway pre-made rooms. Very cool. Timber buffet. What's that? It's a bookshelf or a shelf of some sort. Sideboard. That desk is amazing. Right? I like it. I like that desk. Awesome. Figure that stuff out. Um, let's go to plumbing. Let's see what we got for plumbing. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yes, please. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear with my headset on. <laughs> they, can, they can hear you. Uh, <laughs> it's very sensitive. <laughs> uh, <dang. Right. laughs> okay, what do we got for plumbing here? We got Ain't That a Slate Toilet. Oh, and there's the vintage subway tile shower that I liked. The slate tub. Okay, so they got the one style of shower and tub. I definitely like that brick wall. Can I not get different colors on the bricks though? Yeah, I can get different colors on the bricks, okay. So I can get different, uh... okay, that is cool. So I get a lot of customization on what kind of tile and brick you wanna have on the back of the shower. Very cool. I like that. Let's see what we get for activities and skills. Okay, so this is scouting badge board. What? Can you see that description again? To progress through the scouting rank, scouts must perform good deeds to earn different scouting badges. Scouts can use the board to check their progress and to receive badges when they've earned them. There's scouting for the kids now? That's amazing. That is awesome. So your kids can be scouts in the game now. There's that flower arranging table, pile of presents, EcoDisc 51M5 thermostat. Interesting, okay. So I wonder if you need that now to regulate the temperature inside your house. If it's hot outside and you don't have something to cool down your house. Scouting, yay! I know, right? I wonder if you have to have thermostats now, so if it's too hot outside and your house is not cooled off, uh, your sims could suffer. Well, we're about to find out when we go into the gameplay and we can see what uh, what this all offers. Okay. Large pile of presents. Water balloon bucket? What? Amazing. So you put one of those down and then your sims have water balloon fights? Incredible. That's awesome. Okay. And this is what I figured the expansion pack would have too, is ice rinks. Kind of like when um, The Sims 3 had um, uh, roller skating rinks and ice rinks. Let's get rid of those. So we can put down and see what an ice rink looks like. Very cool. Very cool indeed. That's, oh, look at the lights. Oh my goodness. That one's got some serious lights. Snow cone, you made it! <laughs> Have no fear, I'm here. Snow cone, it's a good day for you, brother. We made your sim today. This might be the best uh, expansion yet. Yeah, I like it. I figured they'd have this kind of content like they did in The Sims 3. How are you doing today, Snow cone? How are you feeling? We have the rustic roller rink. Okay, so there's different kinds of roller rinks. 
Um, I'm guessing the rustic one probably doesn't have all the fancy lights. Oh, I like that. That is actually very cool. Look at this. Let's put down the rustic ice rink here so you can take a look at it. Oh, it's a rustic roller rink. Oh, guys, check it out. Look at the lights. Oh, I love that. The stone and the timber. And the lights over top. That is very cool. Did you capture the glory of my hair? Oh, yes, Snow Cone. We captured the glory of your hair. And we captured the glory of your mustache. That's also been, uh, been captured as well. I love those lights over the rustic roller rink. That is very cool. Um, okay, so there's different sizes. So you can get some that are uh, wider or longer. Snowcone, we're looking at the new expansion pack for uh, Sims 4 uh, called Seasons. Just came out today. And we're checking out all the different content that's included in the game. Okay, so there's a weather control device. I was kind of hoping that would be there. Because I don't know if we have enough time today to really run through all the seasons in gameplay. So if we have something that we can automatically manipulate the weather, that would probably help us to see just a lot of the weather and the gameplay without necessarily um, wasting a lot of time. Fall Comforts Stall. Spring Growth Stall. Summer Swelter Stall. Okay, so is this like a food and drink stall that is particular to the season? Is that the idea? Huh. Is that something that just runs, or do you have to run it? Like a, like a business. <laughs> no problem, Snowco, no problem. sprinkle matic awesome. Having a sprinkler. Sprinkler for the garden that hopefully the kids can play into. Patchy the straw man is made out of straw. He doesn't have hands, not even a paw. But Patchy has patches and a big pumpkin hat. Put Patchy near plants and they'll grow just like that. The crows all love Patchy. He's a funny old rogue. Why is Patchy so scratchy? Because straw is in vogue. So I wonder whether or not Patchy moves. That'd be awesome if he does. If he moves and interacts with, uh, with everything. A hot cider stall for your house, right, Shotgun? I mean, not that I wouldn't want a hot cider stall for my home. That would actually be pretty awesome. Waiting with the fishies kiddie pool. So here's another one of those waiting pools. So you can either get like a waiting pool with uh, <clears throat> no attachments on the side, or you can get one of these tropical ones with the toucan <laughs> and palm trees on the side. That's very cool. And birdies bee box. So you can raise uh, bees. Gravity powered swing. Very cool. Seasonal summer plants. Okay, so by unlocking levels of the gardening skill, you can uh, you can plant uh, different sorts of stuff. That is very cool. <clears throat> Look forward to trying all that stuff out. That's gonna be fun. Don't put that stuff away. Okay, let's check out what they've got in decorations. Huh. Okay, so you've got like branches and stuff. Spring is in the air, flower arrangement. Do you put those in planters? Is that where they go? Jolly garlands? You put them on tables? The koi one I love. You like the koi uh, wading pool? Okay, we got some wreaths. Uh, let me put up a wall here quick so we can show some of this stuff. So we got some uh, wreaths here. Very cool. Titanic, Titanic terrarium. Huh. The tree planted in a planter that I'm guessing you can put inside your house. Planted planter, well, in the garden. We saw those in the sample rooms. Oh, I like this. I like the tiered planter. That's very cool. That is very nice. Pumpkin trio. Got some pumpkin decorations for your home. Uh, ever delightful evergreen holiday tree and stroke of midnight department store holiday spruce. Check that out. Check that out, that is very cool. So you can get like a plain old holiday tree with not a lot of decorations, sorry, with not a lot of decorations on it. Or you can get the uh, 
uber mega over the top North American Christmas tree. Hutch, let me steal your copy of this. <laughs> no can do. But I am loving the content in this. This is very cool. All right, let's check out what's in um, kids. Kids? Tis the season kids activity table. What is that? Hmm. Does this allow them to uh, paint and make holiday cards of sorts? I bet you can decorate the plain one with your Sims. How do you mean, Shotgun? That's very cool. There's the scouting badge board, the wading pool, the swing. Scouting manual. Oh, scouting's actually a career that kids get into. The Scout's Guide on Becoming a Well-Rounded Sim. Okay, interesting scouting manual. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right, let's look under lighting. The two trees. I'm guessing you can have your sims decorate the plain tree as an action. Oh, okay, as opposed to having the pre-decorated one. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Let's um, let go back there. Where was that? That was under decorations. We'll put that down. Go back into live mode. <gasps> you can. Oh, shotgun, you were right. You can decorate it with ornaments. Oh my goodness. Good call. You guessed it. You can decorate the plain tree. That's amazing. So you can buy a pre-decorated holiday tree, or you can buy a plain tree and your sims will actually decorate it. That's amazing. Wow. EA. That was... That is pretty great. Huh. You can decorate your own Christmas tree in the sims now. That is very cool. Uh, lighting. Let's look at lighting for the Seasons Expansion Pack. Okay, so we got floor lanterns. That's very cute. I like that. I like those. Don't go back. I like those. Let me go back to the content here. Oh, nice. Beautiful candlelight. Very cool. I like that. It's like a candle in a um, lantern with a holiday bow on it. Candlelit fall leaves. Forest of Lights menorah. Love it. That is very cool. Seven Principles Kinara. Very cool. Crosby the Glow Man. <laughs> It's a yard decoration, they say. He's deflating now, but the children know. He'll be pulled out of storage again someday. Is it actually an inflatable outdoor snowman? And does he glow? Let's check it out at night. He does. Amazing. Let me move over so you can see the glow. Yep, he glows. That's incredible. That's awesome. Can you deflate him? Can we send people to turn on, turn off, set color and intensity? Okay, so you can't break it. <laughs> like, can you deflate? What was he called again? Globy the snowman, something like that? He was called Crosby the Glow Man. Crosby? <laughs> okay. Crosby the Glow Man, very cool. Uh, there's those holiday trees, floor lamp, ooh, illuminating tombs. Oh, look at that. New Halloween decorations. That's cool. So they actually light up. Very cool. That's cool. Glowing tombs, spooky pumpkin tree. Okay, and that's a source of lighting too. <clears throat> Very cool, I like that. Season's Greetings Ceiling Lamp. 
Oh, do they have mistletoe? Remember uh, mistletoe? Was it The Sims 3 that had mistletoe? Or was it The Sims 2 that introduced mistletoe? Oh, I like that Tinkerer's Wall Light. That's cool. I like that street lamp. Cozy Craftsman Street Lamp. That's very cool. Okay. I like the lighting. Lots of great stuff in there. Oh, do I not have to get rid of all this stuff here? Clear the ground. Go back to uh, morning here. <clears throat> okay, let's look at uh, electronics. Uh, just the thermostat. The thermostat is the only electronics content for the expansion pack. Appliances. Uh, we got a festively fashioned mailbox. Okay. Oh, an Umbri umbrella rack. That's very cool. Okay, so do you need umbrellas in the rain now? That was, again, wasn't that Sims 2 that introduced... Can your Sims die from freezing? <laughs> yeah, I suspect that is a possibility, Shotgun, that your Sims can uh, die from freezing. I'm betting that's a distinct possibility. So the umbrella rack there, so you can grab yourself an umbrella before you go out. Yeah, because remember in Sims 2, you had to buy umbrellas. And if they didn't have the umbrella in their inventory, they were they were toast if they went out without an umbrella. Storage. So we got those bookcases and bureaus that we saw in the other rooms. Okay. So that's all of the furniture with the Sims 4 Seasons expansion pack. Very cool. I like it. I like the styles. I like uh, I like what they're trying to do. That is very cool. Well, why don't we uh, quit out of this game? Let's uh, exit to the main menu. Let's not save the game, because I'm not really going to... I just made that world so we could test out the furniture. But uh, let's uh, let's jump back into our sub-world. And we can get rid of him. We don't need that dude anymore. Let's jump back into our sub-world so we can see uh, Simcone PI, our latest addition to our subscribers' uh, sub-world gameplay. He's just moved in. With GB Simulation, one of my other subscribers, based on a guy named Go Burns. Uh, let's move into their house and let's see. Uh, let's see what these guys want to do. It's autumn. We started off with the autumn season. It is cool. There's a light rain, and today's forecast is a chance of rain, apparently. Okay. So let's let them uh, do their thing. GB is going to troll the forums. <laughs> he would like to practice programming though for five total hours, so let's let's get GB practicing his programming. Simcone just acquired the logic skill. How did he do that? Oh, the chess table we put outside. <laughs> we put a chess table outside for GB. He wants to make a friend. He wants to buy an umbrella stand. Why are you playing? Oh, now that we have the weather now, I can't just stick furniture outside willy-nilly. Oh, man. Okay. Let's buy them an umbrella stand. We can do that. What was that under again? That was under um, storage? Or was it appliances? We'll get them an umbrella stand because... Yep, there we are. There's the umbrella stand. Let's put that by the door. So these guys can get umbrellas when they go out to the rain. But he also wants to plant something. He wants to meet someone new. Has he met Goburns yet? He has met Goburns. He gets an automatic uh, friendship rating as roommates. But he does want... Can he talk to Goburns while Goburns is... Go complain about the rain to Goburns. Can you talk to Goburns while Goburns is practicing programming? I think he might be able to. 
I love that he's playing chess outside, right? We never had to worry about that in Vanilla Sims. In Vanilla Sims, you could just put something outside and you didn't have to worry about them getting cold or hot or whatever. Now, with, because we have this weather now, it's gonna affect gameplay. Can you talk to Goburns while Goburns is practicing? He can! Amazing. Wonderful. So this is uh, our newest uh, sim to our subworld gameplay. Simcone P.I. is his name. So named because of that amazing mustache that he's sporting. Simcone wants to plant something. Place a flower, fruit, or vegetable in the world. Click on it and select plant. These can be acquired by harvesting plants and by purchasing them directly from the planter box or on the computer. Okay, so we need a planter box. We need a planter box. Show all. Let's find... I don't know, I want to search. How do I search? Here we go. Planter box. Here we go. Garden planter box. Let's put that outside. Um, I'm tempted to buy him the garden room. But let's let's start it out for now. Let's uh, rotate that there. Okay. Let's go back to gameplay here. No, Simcone wants to now call someone on the phone. No. Purchase seeds. Let's start off with. Uh, it's autumn, so maybe maybe just some starter flowers. Sit in his inventory now. Open seed packet. All right. Place in world. Let's plant. Um, can I not place it in the planter box? Uh, the gardening in this game was always kind of finicky to me. Did they ever make it better after Sims 3? Well, we're about to find out. So it says, uh, place a flower, fruit, or vegetable in the world. Click on it and select plant. Um, okay. So I guess we'll move that there. And then, why do I keep pressing escape? Plant. All right, let's see if that works. Simcoe's feeling kind of energized now. So let's see how this goes over. So we're about to see if they made uh, gardening any better after Sims 3. We'll see how this goes. But it is Simcoe's aspiration. He wants to be a freelance botanist. He wants to plant something three times. He wants to weed or water plants ten times. He's not going to need to water now because there's... Lots of rain going around. Oh, <laughs> he's being active there now. He wants to go for a jog. He wants to buy a dishwasher. He wants to meet someone new. Well, let's go for a jog and see if you meet anybody new, Simcone. What's wrong with GB? He's uncomfortable. He needs to use the washroom. Okay. Stop programming and start using the washroom, GB. What's he doing? He's playing in the rain! Amazing! That is awesome. He's playing in the rain. Incredible. Let's go for a jog. Let's go for an energized jog, Simcone. If you meet anybody while you're out and about. Oh, see, now he's getting a little wet as he's out in the rain, so I'm guessing he's going to start getting some, uh, some negative moodlets the more wet he gets. And uh, if he gets too cold, too, uh, too soggy from the rain... Right now his moodlets are great time in the rain. Simcone is drenched, but is having a blast in the rain. He's happy about his connection to Goldburns. Now we're going to see if he can meet anybody. I guess going for a jog in the rain is not really a time you're going to meet someone new. Although, uh, there's some people down the way. Oh, 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 what was that? What was that? Hello? Friendly introduction. Go introduce yourself to Shauna. Shana is uncomfortable in the rain, but you're going to go say hi. He keeps running into puddles. 
<laughs> He's not jogging on the path. <laughs> Don't go running into pubbles. She's uncomfortable, but Simcoe just wants to say hi. No? They did not want to talk. <laughs> they did not want to chat. All right. Uh, you send an energized text to Goburns. How come you can't send a text while he's out here? Plan a social event. What's going on, Simcoe? How come you can't text uh, Goburns? No, don't travel. Duh! I just go back home. Ugh. Cancel that. How come you can't text him? It's weird. Okay. You better go home, Simcone. You better head home. She just left. I know, right? She's like, I don't want to talk to this dude. I'm out of here. I don't want to talk to this guy. So far, he doesn't seem too adversely affected by being in the rain. He doesn't have an umbrella with him. She didn't like the mustache shotgun. Did this expansion come with a new neighborhood? It doesn't come with a new neighborhood, uh, surprisingly. Um, it does not come with a new neighborhood for you to explore. Okay, Goburns is playing some chess outside. Goburns wants to make a friend. He wants to become energized. He wants to share ideas. Well, why don't you share some ideas with Simcone? He wants to hear your ideas. Share brilliant ideas with Simcone, GB. GB Simulation always has brilliant ideas. So now, according to the calendar, the first holiday to come up is going to be Harvest Fest on Thursday. That's still four days out. So I don't know if we're going to get to see that holiday so far in gameplay. Um, yeah. So far, they don't seem to be too adversely reacted by uh, being in the rain. Send an energized text, buy a dishwasher, and meet someone new. Not being able to do any of those things, uh, I guess we could try and buy a dishwasher. You've got enough money to buy a dishwasher. Gary, how are you doing, brother? Chess in the rain. That's the new uh, single by my rockabilly ska band. Chess in the rain. How are you doing today, Gary? The new gamer novel? <laughs> <laughs> the what? The new gamer novel? <laughs> what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? Uh, I need a dishwasher. The professional dish laborer. Can I get that in a different color? I want that in like a brownish color. I am good, albeit busy. Are you at work right now, uh, Gary? Are you at your place of employment? We are checking out the new Sims 4 Seasons expansion. Checking out new weather-based gameplay. So far it's raining. And our Sims are playing chess in the rain. Simcone wants to weed a plant. Can he weed this one? Not yet. This plant does not have weeds. Can probably uh, plant something though. Um, place in world. Let's put this. Oh, no, 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 no. Pick that up. Let's rotate that and put it. Plant that, Simcone. We made Simcone P.I. a gardener, and we named him Simcone P.I., because of his glorious mustache that he has, Gary. Although, as soon as work is done, getting a haircut, then weekend, so I'm pretty hype. Hair hype, I'm always at work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm getting frustrated with having it slicked back, so I'm gonna get a high fade side parting, I think. Nice. And a beer tidy up. It's the one thing I enjoy once every two months. Very nice. Very cool. What? He just randomly planted something. He could do that? He's got that much autonomy that he can just randomly plant stuff? He's just randomly planting stuff around the garden. That will look very good on you. Nice choice. It's a good old mo the Gary. <laughs> Snow Cone, you are back just in time. Here is your sim, Snow Cone. This is Sim Cone P.I. Oh, he doesn't like being in the rain. He's kind of... We need to go inside, Simco. We named him Simcone P.I. I forgot to log out of the Lyft app and got another ride. Oh, <laughs> this is Simcone P.I. Snowcone. He's our sim we've made of you. Uh, we named him Simcone, of course, after your name of Snowcone. Uh, but we also named him P.I. because of his mustache. Because we gave you a glorious mustache to go with your glorious locks. And uh, because we're checking out the Sims 4 beautiful <laughs> because we're checking out the sims 4 seasons expansion pack stuff and we're trying to check out the new gardening career we made you a gardener your sim wants to be a freelance botanist uh, that's his aspiration in life is to be an incredibly good gardener you are rooming with uh, gb simulation go burns is another one of my subscribers uh, gary is a fan of the mustache <laughs> gary always loves himself a good mustache uh, Goburns, uh, we made a sim of Goburns called GB Simulation. He is your roommate, Snowcone. So the two of you are roommates here in the neighborhood of Windenburg. And it's raining outside. It's the fall, and your your sim's already going nuts planting stuff. So he, uh, we chose a good aspiration for him, I think. Um, he's uncomfortably wet from being outside in the rain. Can you dry off? Is it possible to... Change out of wet clothes. Can we make Goburns do that too? Does he have to do that too? No, he's good? Okay. Let's have uh, Simcone change out of his wet clothes. He's sad because he heard an awkward comment. <laughs> oh, he made an awkward comment. Why oh why did Simcone say that? Your Sim just said something awkward apparently, Snowcone. I'm a little overwhelmed by all the high-quality facial hair <laughs> in this stream right now. Wait, so I'm a gardener that hates being in the rain. Yeah, apparently, Snowcone. Apparently, that is the that is the issue here. And your Sim's feeling embarrassed because he said something awkward. So let's have him uh, tell a self-deprecating joke to Goburns. He's like, Goburns, I need to confide in you. Exynos. <sighs> Bahana, Sounds about right. Something I would do. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, let's have Goburns go here because I think he should be able to change out of his uh, wet clothes as well. I don't want him to be uncomfortable. There we go. Change out of wet clothes. They didn't really do anything. They just kind of boop and they're in dry clothes again. That was easy. That was easy. Gomers is feeling uh, energized. He wants to enthuse about his interests with someone. Why don't you enthuse about your interests with Simcoe? Well, the roommates are just hanging out, getting to uh, getting to know each other. Simcoe's still feeling a bit embarrassed. Uh, but he wants to weed a plant. Actually, he's gonna give himself a pep talk. You go give yourself a pep talk, Simcoe. You can do this, Simcone. I like how one of them gets a twin bed. Yeah. <laughs> one of them does. Simcone's giving himself a pep talk in the mirror. He's like, you can do this. You can do this. Can Simcone uh, weed any plants yet? Nope. This plant does not have weeds. He doesn't hear the water because it's raining outside. Uh, what's Goburns want to do? Goburns wants to do some sit-ups in the rain. Why don't you go inside, Goburns, instead of standing out in the rain? I would put the chess table inside, but your house is a little short on room. Unless we build another room, which we could probably do. Let's, uh, let's try and build you a rec room. You've got some money. You've got $19,000. We should maybe be able to put a rec room addition on here. Let's go by... Uh, 
the rune function. You can't stop me. Where are the uh the runes? The pre-made runes. Where are they? They're not under here. Know your place. I'm my own hype man. <laughs> With high quality facial hair, yes. Where did my pre-made rooms go? Why do I, why do I not see those now? Hmm. Cutaway views. Rustic residence. Hmm. Oh wait. There we go. Duh. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm working out here. <laughs> okay. I want some uh, studies. Study. Here we go. Okay. Let's give you guys a nice study here. Maybe like a uh, firm focus, simple minded, uh, a study in cool, modern inspiration, incubator. That mustache adds plus three charisma. <laughs> the stash of suavity. Uh, we could give you an industrious, or we give you a muse room for a study, um, or we go the profound. That's too expensive. Profound splendor. That's that's far too much money for you guys. Uh, let's give you the. Uh, incubator room. Let's give you that room. It's ten thousand dollars, but you get a computer with it. You'd have another computer, and we could put your chess table in there as well. Ten thousand dollars actually—that's that's pretty expensive. Maybe we should go for the simple-minded room. Yeah, let's go for simple-minded. Let's let's keep it simple here. Now, is that gonna? Does that room connect okay? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we got you a new a new study. Let's uh, let's get rid of that desk. Let's get rid of this stuff. And I'm gonna move your chess table in here. Minus two to soup eating ability though. <laughs> but plus you get an extra three inventory slots with that mustache. Extra inventory slots for food. Okay, let's put that chess table in there. Put that right up against the wall. There we go. Now you guys don't have to play chess in the rain anymore. Okay. Let's go back here. Goburns. Does Goburns need to change out of his wet clothes again? No, he's good. But he does want to do some sit-ups. Impress your new roommate Simcone there, Goburns. Uh, Simcoe still wants to weed something, but there's nothing really to weed. He does want to meet someone new, so we could send him to a new social location. We could send him out to the bar. Food saver. <laughs> the old stash baguette stash. <laughs> Good thing I saved this chicken wing. <laughs> Alright, let's send uh, Simcoe out to a pub. I'll send him out to socialize. I'll send him out to travel. Simcoe's gonna go out. He's gonna meet some folks. Because he wants to meet someone new. He's feeling pretty social. Let's send him out to the Shrieking Llama. The bar just next door to their house. Let's send him out there. At the Shrieking Llama. Let's have him uh, introduce himself to Perla Harmon. Let's see if this introduction goes better than the last one he tried. Yes, beer. That stores itself in the stash as well. <laughs> the flavor at least stays around for you. <laughs> okay, there we go. He got to meet someone new. He's happy. He wants to play some foosball. He wants to make a friend. He wants to weed a plant. 
Let's send him to uh, play some foosball downstairs. Challenge Sim. Challenge Perla Harmon to some foosball. Let's see how that goes over. <laughs> of course, no question. <laughs> Challenger is in foosball. No. Whoa! You just walked through a wall. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> How did Simcoe manage that? Um, the foosball is just down here, buddy. Practice. <laughs> okay, don't challenge her to foosball. Since that, that's bugged somehow. How about uh, Nina Caliente? Let's give her a friendly introduction. And then you can play some foosball with her. I'm going to woo her with my sweet stash. <laughs> I stored some chocolate in there earlier. Oh, the redhead. Make him meet the redhead with the mint shirt. Okay, we just did. There we go. Now we can play some foosball with uh, Nina Caliente. Play with Nina Caliente. Let's see how that goes over. Let's see if that will happen. What a panty dropper. Can I... Oh. <laughs> is the redhead's name Stacy by chance? No, her name is Nina. Nina Caliente, apparently. Okay, is this gonna happen? Are they gonna play foosball? What is going on? Something's bugged here. He can't seem to, uh... The foosball table's bugged somehow. Damn, it's Nina. <laughs> what is with the foosball? What's the problem here? What is the problem with playing foosball? Play with Nina Caliente. Get your act together, Simcone. Or something's just bugged with that one Sim. And she'll accept all your stash offerings. Hope you'll find your Stacy someday, Snow. <laughs> okay, let's see if this is gonna work. Is it still bugged? Sims, what is going on? It wasn't doing this when I was playing foosball the other night. Let's go here. Go over here, Simcone. Let's see if we can make this work. Oh my god, I could go for a Blackberry Snow Cone right now. <laughs> oh, the door is not... Oh, you know why the door is not opening? I know why the door is not opening. Because that's a club area. You have to belong to the club in order to access the uh, the table area. That's the problem. Okay, so he can't get in there because he's not part of the club. Oh, foosball's right here. Duh. Okay, try playing foosball with Nina Caliente there, Snow Cone. That's gonna work. That's gonna work, I betcha. I betcha. Oh, we still have to show uh, Snow Cone his uh, outfit, his sleep outfit that we made for him. I'm partial to the banana ones. But blackberry sounds great. Mm hmm, it does sound great. There we go, we got some foosball action going on there. There we go. So what do you guys got uh, planned for today? What's, uh, what's all going on for your schedules for the rest of the day? Okay, he's happy playing foosball. He wants to chat with someone. Let's chat with Nina. Ask about her career. While you're playing foosball. Oh, he's hungry. Snoko needs to eat. Story of my life, not part of the club. <laughs> uh, you get to play this foos foosball table, then. Simcone can play this one. Oh, she's not happy. She's not happy she's not playing well at uh, foosball. She ain't happy about that. I don't think I've ever had banana snow cones. I'm going to take pics of my hat and maybe stream a little later. Awesome, Shaka. Very cool. Cool to both, to the hat and to streaming. Yeah, that's enough foosball, guys. We've played enough foosball. 
Lunch, then more work for me. Awesome, Snowco. Some lunch, then you're back to lift driving. Okay, we're just gonna try to talk to Nina, but Nina's still playing <laughs> foosball. She's ignoring him. He's gonna order a drink. He's gonna help himself to a drink. Okay, just help yourself, Simcoe and P.I. Simcoe, private investigator. We can make him a gardener, but then put him on the uh, secret agent career track. Let her win, Simcombe. <laughs> You're not supposed to win. You're supposed to let her win. Is the, uh, is the drink helping there? Does that help his uh, hunger level to go back up? Grab chips. There we go. He's going to get some chips. Order some chips to eat. Wegrim. That is a pretty majestic mustache we have on Simcone P.I. I just took someone else's drink. <laughs> I used to work at a frozen yogurt shop. I can make those super tall ice cream cones. Really? That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, Simcone's just getting to know a few other people while he's waiting for his chips. Uh, Man, look at the hair on that lady who just walked in. Those are some pearls. It's a useless talent. <laughs> I don't think everyone would agree with that, Shekin. I don't think everyone would call that a useless talent. Oh, bartender, what are you doing? Dropping your stuff everywhere. Okay, did Snowco eat? Is he able? Okay, he got his hunger back up. He wants to play some more foosball. Go join. Go join Nina again at the foosball table. Aren't those curls great? Don't tip the bartender. Don't tip the bartender. He's dropping glasses left and right. She is not happy. Nina is not happy with her foosball play. I think those guys who just walked downstairs, they're members of the club that's at this bar. So they have access to the room downstairs. No tip. That is something they introduced with the Get Together expansion pack, is you can join clubs. Um, I'll show you the club button here. So with clubs, uh, there's some of them you have to apply to, and some of them you can only join once you have particular qualifications. So you have the avant guards who enjoy talking about literature, the garden gnomes, I guess that would be, if there was a club Simcone was going to join, it'd be that one. Knights of the Hedge, League of Adventurers, which is like a kids club, Paragons, Party House, Powerhouse for fitness, Renegades, they're like the the biker gang of the, uh, the neighborhood, Spin Masters for DJing, Good Timers, and Upper Crust. Uh, so you can also make your own clubs, uh, but uh, throughout the neighborhood there will be areas that only members of particular clubs can join. For example, the game room in the downstairs of the Shrieking Llama. Nina needs to get it together. Knights of the Hedge, you like that? Nina's doing her best. She's giving her all. But, uh... Simcoe is hungry again. Those chips and those drinks did not go far. Is his uh, friendship level going up with Nina while he plays? Kind of. It's kind of going up. Where is Shotgun Sim? I want her to steal Nina. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> it's guys night. Gentlemen Sims can saunter up to the bar for discount drinks. Look at that. Sim Cone goes to the bar on gentlemen's night. Oh, Steve L.A. Sim just arrived. That's Steve L.A. Sim over here. Made off of my one subscriber, Steve L.A. 24. That's his Sim right there. He's arrived at the Shrieking Llama. Ooh, this guy is starting to fire. Starting to fire in the chimney. Steve, shotgun steals your girl. <laughs> exactly. Simcoe, are you done uh, playing foosball yet? 
I stop playing, does that fulfill the, uh... It does not. He still wants to play more foosball. You better eat something, though. You better get some food in your stomach. Order food. Grab chips. And go hang out with Steve L.A. Sim. How are you enjoying, uh, lift work? Uh, Snowcone, how'd you, how'd you get into it, and how are you enjoying it? We had to change your boots on your outfit, uh, Snowcone. We wanted to give you a nice long jacket for your Sims outfit. But we had to change the boots to be a little more stylish. Let's get that appetite back up. Eating some chips. And then we'll send them to, uh, to play some more foosball. Why is he uncomfortable? What's he got going on? Cooped up. He wants to be outdoors. Simcone does not like being indoors. Nina has not left that foosball table. She is determined to do well at foosball. Is there a club for gentlemen I could join? A sort of gentleman's club, if you will? <laughs> Sorry, alt-tabbing a lot, because still working. I like it. New bucket list item. Have Shotgun Mark make me a monumental ice cream cone, right? That would be a good bucket list item. Nina is foosball crazy. Deal. Shotgun Sim needs to join the Mile High Club with Nina, please. That's a future expansion, Shotgun. That's not a current expansion. That's gonna come <laughs> in the future. <laughs> no Mile High Club yet in The Sims 4. Well, Simco needs to play a lot of foosball too. He's uh, he's been playing a while without fulfilling that whim. Oh, challenge a Sim to foosball. That's what he wants to do. Okay, I got that all wrong. More choices. Um, Okay, let's stop playing here. Oh. And then maybe you can challenge <laughs> Nina to foosball. Uh, hmm. That's gonna come in the future. Well, so will Nina, so I can wait. Zing. <laughs> okay, can you challenge? Uh, let's introduce himself to Steve. Steve L.A. Sim. Let's have Simcone introduce himself to another one of my sub Sims. Go and say hi. Oh, Steve is feeling flirty. There's Bunny! Let's introduce him to Bunny instead. Let's go say hi to the War Bunny. War Bunny. Go introduce yourself to War Bunny, Simcone. I think he was on his way to the foosball table, it looked like. Or the washroom. Ah, so so! And then maybe he can. Can you not challenge a sim because Nina is at the table? Is that the problem? Okay, that's probably why. Because Nina's playing foosball, he can't challenge another sim. Okay, interesting. So there's not much else that Sim Cone can really do right now. He can't challenge another sim because Nina's... Look at this, what is this? Challenge Sim. Yeah, what is it like a Jenga game? What is this? Is this like a Jenga game? Like a llama Jenga game? I'm sorry, do we need Nightbot to have a disclaimer that announces I'm a woman? <laughs> it's just what I'm telling Hutch. Is that llama Jenga, right? Don't chat with Bunny, let's play llama Jenga. Challenge him to Lama like Jenga. Yeah, oh! Garnish. What is that? Okay, here we go. I think it's Lama Jenga. I think they're totally playing Jenga. Damn it, Nina. <laughs> oh, it is Lama Jenga. Look at that. That's amazing. That is hilarious. Look, it's the Battle of the Mustaches. Snowcone, I challenge you to Jenga IRL someday. Look at this. It's a Jenga battle of the mustaches, guys. Two great mustaches. 
going head to head at Lama Jenga. Who will win? Which stash will come out on top? Which stash? Will... Oh! <laughs> you won't know what hit you. <laughs> well, that's that was easy putting that Jenga table back together. War Bunny wins the game of Lama Jenga. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That is too funny. Okay, Simcone's tired. He needs to go home. He needs to go home to bed. So let's uh, let's send him back home. Back home to his roommate, GB Simulation. Too funny. All right, go back home there, Simcone. Go back home to your place. I'll distract you with my stash. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> Do you like the timing of that? Plot twist. I'll pull out my own. A must action, if you will. <laughs> Nicely done, Gary. That's good. A must action, if you will. <laughs> uh, okay, let's. Since uh, GB lived here first, I think we gotta give him the twin bed. So let's spray the monster under the bed. Oh, you know what? We gotta do it. We gotta see what, it, what that's like. We're gonna send. Send Simcone to spray the monster under the bed. And then we'll send him to sleep. Just because I want to see what it does. I want to see what spray the monster under the bed actually does. <laughs> That's it? He's like, ah, no monster? That is hilarious. Okay, let's send him to sleep. Spray it with what? <laughs> exactly, right? What's GB doing there? GB, you need to go to bed too. Oh, we can see uh, Snow Cone's uh, sleepwear. Here we go. You're gonna get to see what uh, Snow Cone, what Sim Cone wears to bed. Check it out. Look at those heart boxers and those slippers. <laughs> Amazing or what, Snow Cone? Is my roommate afraid of monsters under his bed? <laughs> Is it your roommate or Sim Cone PI? And we got you got ink too. You've got some uh, tattoos uh, too, Snowcone. We gave you some. We gave your sim tattoos. He's uh, he's looking pretty badass. Okay, once they wake up, then we'll check it out. Uh, Go Burns is up. So Simcone, check out this outfit we got here. Look at this outfit. Look at those slippers. Look at those boxers. Check out the ink. How's that? How's that for a pajama outfit? Pretty, uh, pretty close to real life. Pretty close to reality. <laughs> this was the sleep outfit we gave your, uh, we gave your sim. Guys, if you're just joining my channel now, uh, I, what I do sims for gameplay, I'll make sims of my subscribers and put them into a sub world, uh, kind of gameplay. Uh, Snowcone just recently subscribed to my channel, and this is our sim we made of him. I want those for my PJs. Those are adorable. The slippers? The slippers are adorable? Very cool. Love it. <laughs> okay, guys, I think this is where I'm going to call uh, an end to the stream here because I've got other stuff I have to get to on my Friday. But thanks so much for being here and for hanging out for some uh, Sims 4 gameplay. I hope it's been fun. A Seasons expansion pack looks really great. Um, we didn't get to see too much of the weather gameplay. Uh, didn't have as much time for that as I hoped I would. You'll never be as hench as me, though, says Gary. <laughs> Gary Raxer Sim is pretty buff in uh, in The Sims. We'll, we'll check out him another time uh, for some more uh, subworld uh, gameplay. Yes, Regina, thanks for being here. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Um, next week, I'm going to be streaming uh, a VR game. Uh, called The Invisible Hours, which is a murder mystery uh, kind of game. And I'm hoping to play some Jurassic World Evolution. And of course, we're going to come back to Sims 4. Sims 4 is something I, I stream every week. You're very welcome, Regina. See a snow cone, shotgun, Gary. Uh, you're very welcome. Um, thanks for being here, for hanging out. But yeah, next week going to be some Invisible Hours. I'm hoping to do some Jurassic World Evolution soon, too. And uh, always, always some Sims 4. I'm always coming back to Sims 4 gameplay. Uh, so if you want to stay updated, you can follow me on Twitter at @realhutch1975. 
Uh, follow me here on Twitch as well. If you join my Discord, I keep uh, people updated there. And of course, we have Play Together Wednesday every week uh, where we play a game together with my viewers and just have some fun on a Wednesday night. But uh, yeah, I highly endorse the Seasons uh, expansion pack. Great expansion pack. Great content. The fashion's great. The furniture is great. I think the weather gameplay is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to add a lot to the game. And I'm excited to play more of it. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Great start to your weekend. And I will uh, catch all of you soon. We'll see ya.